This is one of my favorite worship. Always reminds me of my burning bush experience. Whenever I hear it, I just remember that day. You see how God worked? I've been here over 16 hours now, or going past 16 hours. We're on day two of our three days fast. I told you this fast will go fast. This is serious deliverance and restoration. Of God is bringing up cases that I didn't think was going to happen. But we were praying for a lady. I was talking to a lady and I didn't want to rush her. So that's why I'm coming on day two to continue. So if you're fasting with us, make sure you keep up with the video. Some of you need to sleep. When you wake up, you can continue. As for me, as you can see, I'm still here. As long as there's work, God will give me the strength to do this. But a lot of people will be free. A lot of people, even some of you, as you go and sleep, God is going to show you your deliverance. So I'm going to post the link. The lady I was praying for earlier, I was praying for people that are having feelings towards their fellow men or women, you know. And we did a deliverance for a family. And we started talking to a lady that has actually been with a lady for a while and was an activist. And I didn't want to rush that lady because I felt like that's important information. So that's why I came back. And now somebody else just messaged me. That um, somebody else just messaged me. She said that, good morning, woman of God. I was watching the video and I fell asleep. I can hear the voice in my spirit, in my sleep. I woke up by choking. God wants me to come on the video for me to be free. Can you send me the link, please? So I say, it doesn't work like that, sweetie, unless you're dealing with the case that I'm calling for. She said, yes, I do. I do act out, but I have, I've had thoughts when I was pregnant with my daughter, and my daughter is 21. That's when it started. I never done it, but I, it will go and come. And then my daughter now says she's gay, meaning her daughter is now liking women. But the thought came to her when she was pregnant with her daughter. And now the daughter has grown up and the daughter wants to be like that. So you can see, and she said she was sleeping. Something was choking her. That's how she got up to see that I was praying for her. People like this. This is too much. All right, let me put the link. I think that lady's name was was it Hannah? All right, come back on. She and another lady were waiting, and then this other lady that just Delena. I want to deal with and um, finish with the lady that I was on before the video ended. I just posted the link. Let's let's kick out this demon real quick. God is amazing, you know. All I know is when I go to sleep, I'm going to have a good sleep. By himself. And I want all of you, like, like for instance, you see this, you see this, you see this person? Say, please, we want to God, deliver me from serpentine spirit and evil spirit. This particular person had the same comment when I was doing the mass deliverance. The person did not tap into it. I saw this comment in the other video. And that time we were calling all these spirits, but the person did not tap into it. And now we're doing a particular section. And this person wants me to leave this section. And do you see, some of you don't pay attention. You're in school, but you don't know you're in school. When I'm doing something, you have to flow with me. Once I pass that thing, you gotta wait till we we'll come back again. So let's get Anna. Anna, are you ready? Only you are worthy. Can you hear me now, sweetie? Yes, I can. So because of you, I have to start day two. Because I didn't want to go to sleep without praying for you. How do you feel coming out and saying all this? 
I'm shaking and uh, I'm not too proud of it about it. But it's not your fault. You say the spirit and you say in the dream, some, some people are encouraging you to leave this. Uh, oh, something is encouraging you, to, is telling you to leave this, to stop doing that. Yeah. But there's a spirit behind it. And then this particular lady, I remember I prayed for, was it Prime Rose or somebody? She was actually living with a woman. And I think after her deliverance, she had to stay far away from that lady. Because it's like the thing, there's something about the lady. And now this is your lady. You say whenever something happens, she calls you. Yeah, like even if I'm just feeling sad, she'll call. If um, I'm going It's to like she's connected to you. It's like yeah. a heart, a soulmate. Yeah. And, it, and she calls around exactly at that time, not later or earlier. You think she did something to you? I, I wouldn't know. Do you still have feelings for her? If I hang around her, yeah. But if I'm far from her, I don't even think about her. So there's something around her that pulls her to you and pulls... Okay. Yeah. I think I understand what's happening. But when you talk to her, you can resist. But when you are around her. I, I can't. Even when I used to go to church, she would call me and say, when, when are you going to stop pretending? Uh-oh. Yeah. She would say, when are you going to... She goes to the same church with you? No, she refused to go to church, but she wouldn't encourage me. She would call me on a Sunday, and if I say I'm in church, she'll say, when will you stop stop pretending? No, she refused wait, wait. to go to so, church. But you guys can hear her, right? Somebody said, turn off your microphone. But I hear her. I'm in church. She'll say, when will you stop? You're loud on my phone. If you can't hear her, maybe it's from your phone. Can everybody hear her clearly? Because I'm, I'm listening from this phone and it's clear. I can hear you, though. I hear you. And how old is she? Is she older than you? I think we're a year apart. Maybe I'm older or she is. I can't remember. And you were with her, you were in a relationship with her for how long? Uh, we met in 2012. And then it was back and forth. Like there was a lot of denial in the beginning because she also had somebody else. And she couldn't make up her mind between me and her and the other lady. So there was a lot of back and forth going on. And then whenever I wanted to move on and just forget about her, she would just become very like, uh, you know, vigilant and I would go back to her. So it was not a steady relationship. It was just like we couldn't stay apart and we couldn't stay together. And she's from your country too? No. Oh, I, she's from another place. Yes. All right. So what do you want to do with your life now? I, I, I want to work for God. I know he has a calling for me. And one of the vows I made when I started wanting to come out, to, to leave the lifestyle, I said, Lord, if you deliver me, I will live for you. If God deliver you, you work for him. Yes, that's what I told him. And do men come to you to talk to you? When they come, I just have temper. And uh, like you have an attitude. Yeah, I normally I'm calm, but when I start dating a guy, I, I'm always looking for a way out. I'm always upset about something. Mm. And the slightest thing, I just walk away. Wow. My God. It is well. So after this prayer, you believe you will be free? Yeah. Okay. I believe you'll be free too. It is well. My God. I'm already feeling tingling sensation. And for someone that has been in this life, you already know that this is not the life. This is not good. No. 
but the ones that you say you are an activist and um when you when you are delivered are you planning to like try to get people out of that too if the lord wants me to i i can but it's not easy their their mind is set on it right yeah very few will be uh willing very few most of them think that um that's just the way they are and they want to live that way but it's it's not a comfortable lifestyle um there's a lot of suicide depression and oh people are normally depressed yeah out of five three are depressed and the rate of suicide is high very high and also um alcohol wow they disorder. kill themselves a lot yes and you know this because you were in a group yeah and also um i could see myself going down that road because um i was also drinking and smoking a lot um i even remember when i was trying to come out i could tell there was a force that was just dragging me deeper and further out of out of god's way i just felt it because your I family was, did they try to talk to you or try to help you i didn't tell anyone in my family so they don't know no so what if they see this video i will confess oh so this is the first time you are publicly like wow so this is a big deal so they today what all you do yeah they've always wondered what was going on but i never told them what was wrong they wonder why you are not married yet yeah wow are you the first child yes and your your younger ones are married yeah only you left yeah there's one that is like the last born but he's a guy but i'm the only one that they're wondering what's going on with Mm. And you don't dress like a man or anything. You dress like a woman. Yeah, I dress like a woman. Are you guys this is so interesting. Wow. So your mom and dad when they watch this video they will be shocked. But this is your deliverance already. You confessing it. After prayer, that lady will just avoid you for a long time. because she was she, she will know that spirit has left but have you tried to be delivered before i tried yeah um but every time i always felt it was still there i i knew it wasn't complete because so after um, the prayer you would just know that something is still there yeah and some people told me that as long as i was not living that life i was okay So I believed I thought well if I don't see anyone from that because we have our community so I we call it the village so if I don't go to the village then I'm okay Oh well, the village is like where you guys um hang out Yeah So you don't go there anymore No I don't go anywhere I don't go there anymore But you still have the feeling It's only this one person, not like for anyone. It's just her like if she starts coming around me, it, it will spark something. But if I stay away from her, I'm okay. So your deliverance is strictly for that one lady. Yeah. I believe that lady has done some things on you. Some kind of spell like, is working. Yeah, she she always talks very confident about what's going on with me. She'll tell me you're wasting your time going to church wow yeah wow so she knows you even try to get deliverance i've never talked told her about it but there was a day me and a and a friend of mine went to the village to evangelize and oh you go there to evangelize Yeah, but it happens that whenever we get there they don't get out of the car. So oh. we end up leaving because they're afraid we'll be arrested or something. So 
so on this particular day, she called when we were in the village and we told her where we were. So she came to meet us and she immediately know, knew that the guy I was with was meant to be a pastor. And a year later, he got ordained as a pastor. And she told me never to bring him around her again. Wow. This woman must be influential. She has money? No. This is serious, so it is well. Well, does she even know you watch me? I think she does. And she's not she's not sad that you watch me. She's okay with it. She doesn't like anything Christian. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me pray for you now. How are you feeling? Is your heart beating fast? You feeling nervous? Yeah. In the past, when they pray for you, do you manifest or anything or no? Only when you sing, but not. When I sing? Yeah. When I sing, you manifest? Mm -hmm. Like if Just I my singing. Your, yeah, if I play your instrument. I used to play your instrumental. And then things or, will be manifesting in you. Yeah, or when I have some songs that I like. So when I listen to them, I just start to, like, my shoulder will start to move. And one day I, I heard um, stop singing. Or stop stop singing. singing. Yeah. It is well. There's nothing out there that God cannot kick out. So you can be free and you can get married. I know you're not thinking about it because the spirit is there. But when I'm done praying... You consider it right now. It's not coming to your mind, right? And you're 42 years old. All right. Put your right hand on your forehead. Just take a deep breath. Relax. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire. Fire. You spirit of lesbianism, fire on your head, fire in your ears, fire in your eyes, fire on your chest. And you that woman that has put spell on her to make her to fall in love with you, fire on you wherever you are. Every charm, every spell, every divination, whatever oath, covenant, whatever was made to bring you to fall in love with that lady, I destroy it now in the name of Jesus. I dissolve it in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, you strong man, strong woman, marine spirit, serpentine spirit, queen of the coast. Fire, 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 fire. You will live today and you will never come back again. Fire, out of her, the name of Jesus. More fire, more. And she would marry. In fact, after this deliverance, you will never have any feelings for that woman or any other woman. You will be feeling for men and you will get married to the one that God has for you in the name of Jesus. More fire in your nose, your heart, your eye, your head, your back, your arms, your legs, your private area, your breast, all over your body. Angels, pour fire through her. Everything they put in your body, every spell, I rinse them out now with the blood of Jesus. Fire. Fire. Uh-huh. That's right. Remove everything you put in her. That's right. Fire. Fire. Everything you use to decorate her. Take it off. The crown. The ring. The chain. The belt. The beads. Everything. The mask. More fire. More fire. And on that lady... Whatever she's done to you, fire, fire. Let her begin to confess and repent in the name of Jesus. You will never go back to her again. In fact, I forbid her from ever contacting you again in the name of Jesus. More fire in your belly. Fire, fire, fire. More fire. Whatever they've given you to eat or drink. I want it to melt out of your system. Burp, cough, yawn. 
sneeze, fart, out of her system. In the name of Jesus. More fire. Now, Angel Michael, get that sword. You chop off the head of this spirit of lesbianism. One, two, three. Out of her. Chop it off. In Jesus' name. I declare you free. In the name of Jesus. From today, you will no longer be attracted to women. You will get married ASAP to your destined husband. And God will use you mightily to deliver other people that are victims of this. In the name of Jesus, you are free. You are restored. In Jesus' name, amen. What was happening to you? My head. Something what was that? Coming read your, read your phone down a little bit. Uh-huh. You say what? Something was being pulled out of my head. Wow. So you felt something coming out. Mm -hmm. And then you were removing things from your face. I felt a lot of like things crawl. Like crawling. movement? Yeah. Crawling things like ants. And they were itchy. But how do you feel now? I'm feeling much better. From when you came and now? My head is light. You said something was pulled out of it. Yeah, something was pulling my me like this, coming out of my head. Yeah, that's deliverance. Demons. Mm -hmm. And do you believe you're free now? I believe because you say in the past when they pray for you, you don't you still feel like you're not free. So how do you know this one is different? Because something came out of the back of my head. So all this while the demon was hiding on your head. Yeah, I remember once somebody told me to take care of my mind. So they were trying to mess with your mind. Yeah. They're and something came out from your yeah, head. Something, something heavy was being pulled out. So they used that thing to control your mind. I believe so, yeah. And you should be feeling a little lighter. And this side of my head too. This is where I used to get migraines. So this part was going this way and something was coming out. Wow. Somebody shout, praise the Lord. So now you're not going to be attracted to women anymore. You're going to start being attracted to men. How do you feel about that now after the prayer? Put your phone down a little bit. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that now after the prayer? Because before the prayer, you say you don't think you want to get married. How do you think now? Uh, I think if I if I met somebody, I could. Your 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 speech has changed. Before you say, it didn't come to your mind. But now you're you're thinking you could. This is a change. I think I could. I think I could. Yeah. And you're even smiling, looking different. <laughs> so did are you saying this because I'm asking, or this is really how you feel? Because you're asking. But you don't, don't really know. want it. I don't know how I'd feel if I met one, but if 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 it's if it's there, oh. I know I will feel Have it. you ever been attracted to a man? Small, yeah, just little. What kind of guy you like? Tall, black, short, white? Tall, dark. Like Will Smith? A little bigger. A little bigger than him? Yeah. So if I show you a nice picture of a man now. <laughs> 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 Who is in this ministry now? Who be taught? Describe the man you. <laughs> Describe the kind of guy you like. Let me see if there's anyone 
in this ministry that fit. So I'll call them and say, how you see this one? <laughs> 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 oh my god, they're all laughing. Oh, this is serious. You guys are laughing. <laughs> Where are all the men? Report yourself now. <laughs> Some of you need to be sleeping. You're following me to do more than how many hours? <laughs> Some of you cannot sleep. They say, ah, I can't miss this deliverance. I must see what will happen. <laughs> so now, a tall, black, handsome guy, when you see him, they're like, because the thing is, before you were never attracted to men. And now you're considering it. So this is the step. It means okay. that thing in your head that came out is what they put there. That's why she was confident that you will, it's of no use because that thing will always control your mind. Like a mind control, right? Yeah. But yeah. now that you're delivered, don't you mm -hmm. feel like you've wasted years? Yeah, now I'm starting to feel like if I had done something earlier, maybe I would have been helped. But at that time, I wasn't myself either. Yeah. And even right before I prayed for you, you weren't yourself. Until that yeah, thing came out of your head. Yeah, I wasn't myself. There were days I uh, I could sit in one place and I would look at the time and it's four hours. I don't know what I've done. So you, they were almost going to make you go crazy. Yeah, they gave me medication for PTSD. The, the people who come from Iraq, the ones they give them when they hallucinate. Because oh, you got that? Stuff. You were yeah, hallucinating? No, but because I wasn't sleeping, I couldn't eat. They said, um, and then I would see things too. So that's why I think they gave it to me. And all this because of this thing that you're going through. Yeah, but even when I would drink it, something else would drink it from me. So it wasn't really helping. Something would drink it from you? Yeah, like when I swallow the medi medicine, something would do like this. In your vision or your dream? No, physically. Like I would feel someone removing it. Wow, this was serious. Oh. Mm -hmm. My God. Wow. But now you're free. Yes. And God will send you your destined husband. I guess we don't have any but any man here because <laughs> I was looking for a man that fit that description now. So we can see how you feel when you look at at that picture, you know, of or that person. <laughs> Somebody say <laughs> like Tala Perry, <laughs> you guys are funny in this ministry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys leave this lady alone no? <laughs> I play too much the fact that you say you are considering it now it's a good thing because before you were like you never thought of it but now you are thinking of it and you will not go crazy you are healed you are free and you will come back with a big testimony soon in Jesus name Amen. Amen. And Thank God you bless so you for coming out to share. I believe it was God that pushed you to come do this. And whenever God um whenever God um pushes people to do this, it means that um he is ready to deliver them. And because you obey God, your deliverance is permanent in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, sweetie, God bless you, eh? Thank you so much. It is well with you. Bye-bye. You guys are so funny, yo. Eh? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, um, Delana, there was another lady that was waiting for her. Oh, norm normally your, your phone keeps cutting. What country are you watching from, sweetie? South Africa. Wow. And your network is not so good? Tonight, the whole morning, it's not good. I don't know why. 
God bless you. I've even changed places now because I was in bed. Now I'm in a dining room. And you are fasting with us? Yes, I am fasting. You've been watching for a while? Since last year, July, August. Okay. And this case of um, getting attracted to your the, the same sex is something that bothers you too? Ever? <laughs> yeah, it's something I've done before. Like, tell us your own story. Um, I was still in high school. Then I dated a woman while I was still in high school. Uh, my parents knew about it. They had no problem because my mom was like, since you were born, you were like a boy. So I always knew maybe someday you will date a girl. Um, then that relationship ended. I dated um, a boy, with, uh, the one I got married to. And we got separated 2017. And then 2018, I met another woman. We dated for like a few months, then um, we broke up. So while you were married, you were dating a woman? No, I dated a woman after I separated from my husband. So you just broke up recently with a woman? Same year, 2018. It only lasted for like three months, I think. So this the feeling still comes mm. up till now. Mm. And you feel like this is not normal. It is not normal because sometimes um, I get frustrated. I am attracted to guys and both women. I don't know what's happening. So when that lady was talking, you understood some of the things she was saying? Everything, even the suicide, because that woman I was dating, she tried committing suicide, she drank pills, um, she did a lot of stuff. She tried to kill herself, mm. but you did not try to kill yourself. No, I didn't. <laughs> you like your life too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> yes, too much. <laughs> so today when God called this case, you were happy? I had just woke up when I logged in, the very minute I logged in, and then you were talking about this, and I was like, you know what, this is for me. <laughs> wow. And I didn't even have the link. I kept asking I kept asking for the link. Please send me the link. Please send me the link. <laughs> wow. The moment you woke up, God woke you up for this. Yeah, probably. Yes, I think so. Because I've been online for a long time. So some of you are dozing off, waking up, continuing. People can't really catch up with me, you know? But how do you feel now? Hi, a phone froze again. Did they call you? Hi. All right, sweetie, I think you need to come back. You can hear me. It froze. Did you get a text or a call? Did somebody call you? Try network South Africa. All right, let her try to come back. You see how God works when God tells you to do something, just obey Him because God is doing something. I'm so glad that I always obey Him. That's why you can see me having so much content because He Himself is the one that gives the content. So now, we're going to give her one minute to come so we can pray for her before I call the next person. Because she's been on since the last video. Yes, Lord. Than the best. You're better than the best. You're better than the best. Oh, you are the best. You are the you great are You are the great I am. Hey. You are the great I am. 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 Wait. 
Your network is bad, though. Can you want to call somebody else? Because I don't no. know if I'll be able to reach you again. Oh, God, it's the devil. God. It's like you had a phone call or a text message. Mm. We heard the sound of a beep, like something came into your phone. Oh, it's an email. Okay. All right, put your hand on your forehead. Let me pray for you real quick. Okay. Take a deep breath. Holy Ghost, fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire. Fire. Uh -huh. The spirit of lesbianism. Fire on you, your eyes, your ears, your nose. What have you done to this lady? You demon. Fire. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who are you? Speak. Are you the one making her to like women? Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a snake. <laughs> a snake? Or are you stopping? Leave her alone now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her now. Angels, <laughs> off the head of that serpent. In the name of Jesus. So you just seen a snake looking at you. My eyes. You just, as I was praying, a snake just flashed. You saw a snake. So that's a snake that is making you do that thing. <laughs> Have you seen that snake? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the first time I'm seeing this snake. Sometimes I dream about it a lot. And right now you just saw it. It was staring at you. Yeah, that's just in my eyes. All right, With just relax. Time. Relax. Thank you, Father. Fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Fire. More fire. And you, snake, time for you to come out. Remove everything you put in her now. Whatever you put in her that is making her do that, remove it all. Take it off. The ring, the crown, the chain, everything you put in her. That spirit of lesbianism. Out of her, the name of Jesus. You sap it. Out of her, the name of Jesus. Spirit wife, spirit husband. From today, I don't want that snake to appear to you anymore. And that feeling that you have for women, I want it gone forever in the name of Jesus. On the count of three, Michael, chop off the head of this snake. One, two, three, no, no, out, no, no. chop it off. In Jesus' name, I declare you free. In the name of Jesus, amen. What happened? <sighs> Try it. Network. Network. Thank God I kicked it out already. So she's been seeing this particular snake, not knowing this snake is the spirit. People are suffering, eh? Now we have people in South Africa. My God. All right, so while I'm waiting for her to come, somebody just sent me this video. Let's see what this video is about. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus.
Praise the Lord. I guess the voice changed, but it's low. I can't really hear it. I don't know if you guys could hear it. Some of you are saying, wow, me, I can't, I can't hear anything. I don't think her volume was loud enough. But it looks like the voice changed, right? It was Juliet that sent it that somebody recorded it. But I couldn't hear it much. Can you could you guys hear it? I wasn't hearing. <laughs> <laughs> it was too low. <laughs> Did you guys hear it? All right, somebody said it was low, so it wasn't only me. All right, guys, so when you send your videos, if it's low, don't send it to me, please. Because I, I didn't hear. I couldn't hear. All right, let's see. What's next? I had told Delana to come on, all right? Delana. Hello. <laughs> God bless you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. You say you were sleeping. What happened? Uh, yeah, I was watching the video and um, I mean, I've been battling this, but I always like put it in, like I buried it. I just never wanted to deal with, deal with it. And I was watching it and with the guy Lewis and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to, I don't want to call. I don't want to deal with it. So I fell asleep. And when I um, then I woke up and I was choking, and I can still hear you whilst whilst I was asleep. I can still hear you, and when I woke up, I was choking, and God was like, "You you need to get on there," and that's when I um. So you were you. you were watching when I started, and you dozed up. Mm hmm. And then something was choking you. Mm hmm. And woke me up. For you to get on. And you're dealing with this same spirit? Yeah, I've been dealing it with it since I was um, young. And meaning you're having feelings for women? I It's on and off. You said something about when you were pregnant. Yeah, when I was, but it started when, um, when I was, uh, when I was young, I would, I was born in Guyana and, um, I used to have, um, like girls used to mess with me um, and stuff like that. And I wasn't sure if I was gay or not. But um, as I got older, when I was pregnant with my daughter, um, that's when the feeling came up. And I was really, really attracted to girls. But I just never did it because I knew it wasn't right for me to do. So I never did it. And then... Um, my daughter now, she she says she's gay. She had relationships with other girls, and um, but she still also had relationship with boys. So she's back and forth. And also, my middle daughter, um, she had a um, relationship with girls too. So you have two daughters. I have yeah, I have two daughters, one son, and the two like women. Yeah. How old are they? Um, Imani is, um, she's 29 and my youngest is 21. And they both like women. Mm -hmm. They go back and forth. And how about your son? My son, he, he's straight. He's 31. So now the thing is bothering you because it started with you and now your kids are doing it. Yeah. And from watching the video, like everything is coming up, my stomach, I felt like my stomach was turning and <clears throat> it's just, <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know I had to deal with this, but God wants me to bring this out. Because I've prayed for you, I think several times, you never mentioned this one. Because I never spoke about it. I also oh, yeah. did um, deliverance with... um. God's watchman, and I, it just never, it just never came up. So how come you're always getting to have to get, go through deliverance? Why are you always getting demons? Because I, I was very afflicted, um, as, and um, from young, I was always um because I was never really um my parents, ne well, my mom never really paid me any mind, so I was always afflicted. I was always going to the wrong people. Um, it was just always something going on with me. Men, women, everything. It was just always my everything, everyone. 
I was always afflicted. And it seemed with like all it's, the, with all the deliverance you have by now, you should be free. <clears throat> I mean, I I am, but it's just that this part, this part that I never dealt with. This part when I, right here. When I look in your eyes, I see someone that has a lot of demons in her. Not just this demon. I see like darkness in your eyes. It's not just this spirit. Is there something else that torments you that you're dealing with beside this one? That witchcraft attack? Yeah, but there's something that I never spoke of. I have to bring it up. Um, I have to bring it up. I had five abortions. And I've been living with that. So, so you feel like the five abortions is haunting you? I don't know. I just, um, I just always think about them and just they always like play in my mind. Me being on the table, like it just plays over, over and over. I never talked about it. I never had to. Um, I never faced it at all. Well, you were young when you did it, right? Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people have gone through abortion once or twice in their yeah, life. Yeah, but five, that was a lot. And I have three kids. It's been like years since you did that, right? Yeah. So I don't think that should be the one hunting you. It's just when I see you, I just see someone that, Someone that, um, you say you were just recently delivered? Yeah, uh, my sister. Is your, so your sister, your what? No, I was, um, um, uh, my sister, she put witchcraft on me. Um, and um, the God's watchman had did my deliverance and she had came up. And then there was another lady that I went to church with. Um, and I didn't know she was a witch. And she also came up. And also my uh, daughter's father came up. So there was a lot of manifestation. Yes. Do you live to please God? Do you have an open door? Is yes. that something you do? I live to please God. I don't have any, I don't fornicate, nothing. I stop all that. Hmm. It is well. No problem. How do you feel now? Well, I was feeling um like I was gonna throw up. It is well. Let me pray for you. Just relax, take a deep breath. Holy Ghost fire all over your body. Fire from your head to your toe. Fire. This spirit that your, your children are dealing with, it's more like a generational thing. So I break that generational curse right now that is causing you and your children to be having feelings for the same sex. That spirit of lesbianism, I command it to come out now. In the name of Jesus, you serpentine spirit, out of her, the name of Jesus. And I use you as a point of contact to deliver your children. In the name of Jesus, I break every foundational generational curse affecting you and your family. In the name of Jesus, and you witchcraft spirit tormenting her, I command you to come out of her. In the name of Jesus. More fire, fire from your head to your toe, fire in your eyes, fire, fire, fire. And you devil, stop using that abortion to hunt her. 
From today, I don't want that thought coming to your head anymore. I free you from the guilt of that. That was your past. You're not going to keep thinking of that anymore. In Jesus' name, more fire. Whatever they've given you to eat or drink, I command it to melt away from your system. And that giant demon that will not let you go, I command it to come out of you now. In the name of Jesus. More fire. Fire. Lose your hold. Leave her alone. Let her go. <sighs> and who are you? <sighs> who are you? <sighs> who are you tormenting this woman? Speak. <sighs> what have you done to her? <sighs> I say speak. She will not be free. She will never be free. Why not? Because I own her. And who are you? <sighs> what is your name? <sighs> what legal right do you have on her? Any right. Why do you say so? Explain. I'm not talking. Angels, hammer on the head of this demon three times. One, two, Three. Now speak. <laughs> what is that thing that is connecting you to her? <laughs> She's my wife. May I remove your stop room? masturbating. <laughs> she, she stopped. I was with her since she was 12. <laughs> so she's your wife? Yes. But she stopped masturbating. Yes, because of you. So, so if she stopped masturbating, why are you still there? I can't leave. But she said that they recently did deliverance on her. Are you hiding? Yes. Okay, remove your ring from her. Remove your mm. ring. Mm. Move it down. Hurry up. I don't have all day. Fire on you. Pull out that ring that you put in her. Quick. Mm. Remove your crown. Your necklace, your, your chain. Everything. Don't cover her eye with that thing. Oh. Whatever you put in her house, remove it all. This is not her house. She doesn't have a house. She doesn't have a house. Why? No. Why? Because she goes from place to place. And who, who did it? Who did that to her? I did. She so can't have her own place. So you want her to suffer? Yes. She keeps. Praying and praying and praying. She keeps praying. She keeps praying and praying. She keeps doing this. And the more she's doing this, the more I'm taking stuff from her. So how, how come the prayer is not affecting you? Because I'm embedded in her. You're embedded in her? Yes. But today you're going to leave. You believe that? <sighs> what of her children? Yes, they're a part of me too, especially her youngest daughter. You say this, the youngest daughter? Yes. How are they part of you? Explain. She masturbates. I want to her. Your younger daughter, uh, her younger mm. daughter masturbates. Yes. So masturbation is an easy way for you guys to enter people? Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. So you said two of her, her daughters. Her little like daughter him. hates her. She just hates her. They don't have a relationship. I did that. You did that? Yes. She hates her. She okay. hates her mom. 
Remove everything you put in the daughters. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> what else is there to know? What else is there to know? If someone wants to get married, I don't want him to get married. <laughs> you don't want him to get married. Remove what you put in him. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> And how about her? Is she going to get married? No. She's never going to get married. Okay, but when I kick you out now, what's going to happen to her? Her life will change. All right. No. No. And how about how about the um the demon that is making her like her fellow women? That's me. So only she you are doing all this. Do thing. it. She won't do it. She won't do it. Okay, but now it's affecting her children. Is that you too? Yes. So when I kick you out, That's what will happen to life. what will happen to the kids? They'll be free. All right. Set your head ready. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't I, I don't want you to ever come back. Mm -hmm. To this body. Did you hear me? Mm. On the count of three. Mm. Michael, chop the head of this evil spiritual husband and send it back mm. to her where it belongs. One, two, three. Mm. Out of her. Mm. Chop up that head. Mm. Chop the hair where you belong. And name of Jesus. And don't you ever come back to this body. I forbid you to come back to her or our kids. And I declare you free, you and your children free in Jesus' name. Did you hear that? You heard everything? Spiritual husband? Has that one manifested before while they were praying for you? But you, did you know that you had a spiritual husband? I knew something else was there. Well, yeah, I was masturbating since I was 12. I just recently, once I started watching your videos, I was delivered from uh, masturbation. It's only been a couple of, um, maybe two years now. So, so, so the feeling doesn't come anymore? It just stopped? It used to come, but it's just totally stopped now. I don't do it at all, at all. And then your daughter masturbates too? Yeah. And your son is trying to get married? Mm. Mm. He masturbates also. It is well. But you are free now. And now that you came on to, to confess it, you are free. And it's, he said that he didn't want you to get your own place. You're going to be moving from place to place. I do. I rent rooms. And at my job, I um, live in with my job, so I don't have my own place. It's been a year. And your children live on their own, too? Um, my youngest, yeah, the, the two older ones, they do. And um, my son is in the Army. And the youngest, she stays with me, but she's in a um, retreat for mental illness. Your youngest has mental illness? Yes. So she's in a hospital now? Yeah. But she's in like, um, because she was um, delivered by the, um, God Watchmen um, twice. And um, now that she, she, what she's doing, she's learning how to like, basically um, learn how to adapt to life. So that's what that retreat is for. 
is teaching her how to deal with her anger and how to um but she's yes, doing yes. a lot Father, is it not is it Adele the same father? No. So the three with three different fathers, are they helping you with them? Um no. But her dad, he's gonna step in because um the the place had called him to um to step in. So I guess he's gonna step in now and try to help her because she can't come with me because I'm constantly working. And I don't have a place for her. But well, now that you're free, you are restored. God will give you a place in Jesus' mm -hmm. name. And God Amen. will bring will your family it. together. All right? Amen. I, I receive it. I feel good. I feel good. I if feel like... you're sleeping and something woke you up, choking you. So that yeah, was that spirit. It was what? It was that spirit that just left. Mm. <clears throat> I guess it's time for it to go. And and you will not be feeling bad about the abortions you did. Whenever we, when you do something, when you were ignorant, you don't let it like haunt you forever. You're in Christ now. There's no need to condemn yourself. There's no more condemnation when you're in Christ. That, that feeling alone can invite um, demons into your life. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't do anything. I pray all the time. I, um, I don't fornicate. I don't nothing because I used to smoke. I used to drink. I used to do all those things. I don't do none of those things anymore. So that's why I couldn't understand what was holding holding me back. I just couldn't understand. It is why you are free now. Thank you so much, right. woman of God. God bless you, eh? It God is well bless you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So now, what made me come back on this video was to pray for those people that were having feelings for the same sex. The people that are waiting. Is this your case? Are you having this spirit affecting you? Or is this something else? Because some of you were not really following. You just saw the link and came on. You're not really part of us, fasted. Is that why you are here? The people waiting in the back office. Yes or no? All right. Okay. It's not that. I think they all came for different reasons. All right. So I guess I'm done for today. So I can go and sleep. Because God specifically told me to call people that are dealing with that homosexual, bisexual spirit. And those were the people that I was calling. And we didn't have much time. So I decided to come on this video to come and finish that up. And now that I'm done with that, when I come back, we are not addressing that again. So if you were part of that and you did not come, Guess what will happen? You'll have to go and tap into these ones that I prayed for. All right? All right, guys. So this is day two video. It's going to be short because I need to go sleep. When I come back, it will be day two video two. Because I have to sleep. You know, I haven't slept. So watch day one if you missed it. This is a three days dry fasting for deliverance and restoration. A lot of people got their deliverance when I was doing day one and two from the mass deliverance. So go back and watch it. I'm not really calling people for one-on-one -on -one deliverance because some of you, that's what you're looking for. That's not what I'm doing. So I love you guys. I'll see you when I wake up to continue day two. Make sure you read the book of Joel, Titus, um, Daniel 6. And I think there were some few scriptures I gave. Okay? All right? God bless you. Bye-bye.